Hello and welcome again to my channel. This one is going to be a bit different. I don't know if it's going to be more than one episode like this. It's just that something I've discovered while mapping is something of historical interest maybe to some people. And I'm just going to talk you through it. And if you like it, um, like it. And if you don't, then maybe look at some other video. So um, I was doing a bit of Street Complete. I'll put a link um, to that video, how to do that, uh, up in the corner. I was doing a bit of street complete on Greens Hill in Kilkenny, which is just about within my five kilometers. And I came across this situation here. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten around to do a pillory of it, so I can't show you what it looks like um, on the doors. But I came to this here. We were walking down this road, Greens Hill, towards um, the old Dunmore graveyard. But the road was flooded, so we didn't get there. Anyway, so the um, we have an, the house number five is actually not on the house. I just deducted that because number four is here and number six is there. And then suddenly there's number one. And I thought, well, this is really weird because these four houses, they're not like a terrace where, you know, sometimes the numbering strays from the rest of the street because the terrace has its own numbering. No, it just stopped here. And just yeah it was just in my head and I thought about it and when I was at home and I think I actually went into Josen to do a bit of mapping and I saw on the Bing imagery the stumps of the old Greens Bridge I'll pull that up so here on the Bing map you can see there's something in the water and I know it and that's where the old bridge was because if the water, when the water is low on the Noor, you can actually see them. It's just at the moment it's very high, so you couldn't see it at all. I think the reason is that Green Street, so Green Street used to go this way here, and then cross the river, and then stop here, kind of. And this bridge wasn't there, of course. Um, the bridge, the old bridge, was destroyed in a flood. I want to say seventeen sixty four. Don't quote me on that, it might have been 46. But around that time there was a huge flood and it tore down Greens Bridge and John's Bridge further downstream, which were the only bridges at the time over the River Noor in Kilkenny. So this is gone and then they built this one here. And so this is why I'm going back to on this view. The numbering is, well, this would be one what's which is called tower view one two three four five six and then the green street would have continued over the river here and actually i looked it up i tried to find rogue survey of kilkenny um john rogue was a, a french surveyor and map um, maker a huguenot whose family had fled to london from france and um, he surveyed Kilkenny and the map is quite famous, or the survey, that he called it. I couldn't find it online. I know the Kilkenny Archaeological Society have a copy in the library, but it's just not convenient for me to cycle in there. So I found a reproduction on archive.org. Bear in mind that this is not aligned to the north. So if you look here... You have Green Street coming down here and then it looks like the bridge is doesn't actually continue in one line but continues rather like next to the last house. There's probably a mill there across the river and then there was a mill race here. There's very little remains of it in this area still. The rest is all underground. C can't see any of that anymore. And then there was a road down here which is still there which is now the Greens Hill and then the Beach Road which leads to Castle Comer and you see it says ancient road from the Comer by the church of Mora I think that's probably Dunmore um, the old church and graveyard in Dunmore that we went out to see and then there's another road leading up here the English road from Ballyfoyle and there's also it says Brokemakers Hill here so of course a lot has changed since then, but um, if you look at the open street map, so Green Street is here, the bridge would have been roughly here, 
over the river and then meet the I don't know what the road was called then here and that lead to Hennebury's Cross and then to Castle Comar and that's where they brought the coal in from Castle Comar and then there's the other one that's called the English Road to Ballyfoil. I would presume it would have gone somewhere so like maybe something like this the Castle Comer Road wasn't there that's newer um, but there is the Glendine Road I think it, it must that must be the one to Ballyfoil. it certainly leads to Ballyfoil now the, the rest in between is just guesswork and all of that just from some odd numbering on houses I thought that was interesting anyway that's really all I wanted to show. I'll just show you the old map again. Yeah, so it's, it's really difficult to estimate where that one to Ballyfoil went exactly. And there's two roads to Ballyfoil the one, the new Orchard Road, and um, this one, the which is the Glendine Road first, and then across the Ring Road. I think then it's called the Ballyfoil Road or something like that. I hope you enjoyed it and. Uh, we'll see if, if I find more interesting stuff related to maps and I might make another video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.